Today I'm gonna to show you how to mount the tubeless tire. Hopefully it makes it a lot easier. Um, this is actually a way that I have a couple buddies that work at bike shops, and this is what they showed me, is kind of a little tip and trick to make it way, way easier. And ever since I've learned, it's made mounting a tubeless tire incredibly easy. In order to do this, you need a couple different things. First being, we have a valve core remover. Next, you want some tire levers. Next, we'll need tire sealant. I like using stands, but you can use any brand that you wish. Next, we have a sealant injector. It's not required, but it does make it 30 times easier. Next, we have an air pump. So make sure that you have an air pump that has a gauge and can handle at least 160 PSI. Lastly, we have the tubeless air canisters. It's not required. I highly recommend investing in one, especially if you intend on mounting tubeless tires in the future. And the last thing you can do is you have an air compressor. You can use that as well if you wish. I don't, I'm not gonna use one for this one, so. The first thing we're gonna do is wipe down and clean the wheel. Just get rid of all the contaminants, dirt, and grime. If your wheels didn't come converted tubeless, you're gonna have to install tubeless tape at this point. Luckily, the set I'm using already came pre-taped. Next, we're gonna mount the tire. And just in case you made the same mistake as me, almost all mountain bike tires are unidirectional, so be sure not to mount them backwards. The brake disc is always on the left side of the bike, so when you mount them, make sure to mount them appropriately. A good rule to remember when installing a Maxxis tire, like we are in this video, is to always ensure that the riding on the tire is on the side of the wheel opposite of the brake disc. To seat the tire, the first thing we're going to do is remove the valve core. Then starting about 3 inches left of the valve, insert the tire lever and pull the tire to the edge of the wheel and slide across so it sits inside the wheel channel. Continue doing this until it becomes too difficult to slide the lever anymore. Then we're going to flip the tire to the other side and repeat. probably wondering what's the point of this, so let me try to explain the best way that I can. Here's the diagram of a tubeless wheel. We have the inner channel, the bead locks, and the outer channel. Typically, when you mount a tire, the bead of the tire sits in the inner channel. So when you pump air into the wheel, the tire bead has a hard time going over the bead locks and locking into the outer channel. But what we're doing with this technique is placing the tire bead in the outer channel. So when you pump air into the tire, it makes it easier for the bead lock to engage and lock the tire in place. The first technique I show you is going to be filling up with an air canister. The first thing you want to do is attach the floor pump to the air canister. Make sure to select the tank option instead of the bike option. Next you want to use the floor pump to start pumping up the air canister. For this one, I filled it to 140 psi. Now attach the air canister to the wheel, release the valve of the air, and start pumping. There it is. All right. So now if we completed installing a tubeless tire with the air canister, we're gonna do the same with the air pump. First thing you wanna do is install the valve core. We're gonna repeat the technique and we're gonna slide the lever so that the tire bead sits in the upper channel. Now flip the tire, repeat the process on the other side. And here's a good shot of what it should look like when the tire bead sits in the upper channel. Now hook up the floor pump and start pumping like crazy. Now that the tire is seated, we're going to remove the valve core, attach the sealant injector, shake the sealant, and add the recommended amount. Then remove the inflator, reattach the valve core, 
and pump up the tire. I usually pump up to about 40 PSI just to ensure that the tire bead is seated all the way around. Then you want to shake the ceiling around, spin the tire around while you're doing it. Then once you're done with that, clean off the rim and you're all done. Thank you so much to everybody for taking your time to watch my video. I hope that this has been helpful and you found a better, more successful way to mount your tubeless tires. Thank you and have a wonderful day.